guys, so I haven't really vlogged. Um, it's currently Sunday now. It's games night, so everyone's over. I am going to take my camera in there and vlog a bit, but I just wanted to give you that kind of context so it doesn't just skip to a random clip of us playing, like, Cards Against Humanity or something. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, God, I've never, I haven't laughed so much in ages. Yeah. I don't think we ever took it that way before. It's just like chocolate. Oh, okay. Chocolate. Yeah. That works too. Okay, cool. Okay, you are not alone. Millions of Americans. <laughs> okay, so Prince won't perform without preteens in his dressing room. Hey guys, so um, everyone's gone home now. Um, we didn't want people to stay too late because everyone obviously has work tomorrow or uni or whatever. Honestly, this is probably one of the best games nights that we've done so far. We've only done two, I think. Yeah, we've only done two games nights, haven't we? Yeah, honestly, by the end of the night, like, everyone's cheeks and jaws were hurting from, like, laughing and smiling so much and, like, stomachs, like, literally. And Tom, like, he lost it about this pigeon thing. And then him and Harry were, like, literally, which is Courtney's partner, if you guys watch Courtney's channel. They were literally, like, giggling and laughing for ages. And they wouldn't stop. And then every time something set them off again and they started laughing again. We set each other off as well. Right? Yeah. Uh, you're not like laughing off each other's bloody laughter. So yeah, I really, really needed this. I'm glad we did it. Um, and I'm just so, like, I just read a text what Jenna sent to like our girl group chat, and like she's so right. Like she's basically just saying that she's so like lucky to call us like our group of friends, and like it's honestly such a good mix of people and we're all kind of from like different backgrounds different places in the world like we all get on so well and i just like i'm i'm really lucky to have such a good group of friends like that in my life Freaking sent me something else. <laughs> now they're messaging each other about <laughs> pigeon stuff <laughs> you sent me this it's a little gif of a pigeon and then tom goes ah oh, ha ha don't start what is it don't don't you'll start me off again <laughs> oh my god <laughs> this is Steven Seagal. <laughs> <laughs> this is the joke that got them in the first place. Basically, the Cards Against Humanity said something about Steven Seagal. <laughs> and then Harry made a joke about, oh, he's... <laughs> what was <laughs> it? Obviously, they didn't get that, basically. Um, <laughs> Harry said it's his cousin is Steven Pigeon, because obviously Steven Seagal. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow I have to go get my pre-op bloods done. They wanted me to get them two days before surgery. So surgery is on Wednesday. I'm getting them on Monday. It's to check the coags, like coagulation of your blood to make sure it's like clotting properly and everything. Obviously it'd be a bad idea to do surgery if you were having clotting issues. And then I've got an eyelash appointment. I'm getting my eyelashes done tomorrow, which I know seems really stupid to get them done like right before surgery, but I know my hair's gonna be a state. I'm probably not gonna wear makeup. So at least I've got my nails and lashes that are looking semi-okay and I hopefully want to get my brows waxed as well before Wednesday. Yeah, anyway guys, I'm going to head to bed um, in a bit. <laughs> How has that set you off? <laughs> Dropping a fork. That's not even funny. because <laughs> I dropped the fork before and I've not eaten any pasta since. <laughs> and the forks are on my pigeon. <laughs> okay. Can we watch some Lucifer so I can stop thinking about pigeons? Yes, we will. <laughs> Good morning everybody, it's Monday morning. Um, I'm off to get my bloods done. These are my pre-op bloods. And then I'm going to get my lashes done. I've had this appointment booked in for a while. Last week I had a patch test and all went well. So hopefully today will go well as well. It's funny because the last time I had my lashes done was before my tube surgery, which was August last year. Um, like my actual surgical tube placement. Anyway, that's what I'm off to do. Um, I forgot to vlog <clears throat> before I left the house, so I just decided I'd do it now while I'm on my way um, because I am running a little bit late. Uh, anyway, I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, so I don't know if any of you guys experience this, but sometimes when I go to get my bloods done, like they're so, so rude. Like they don't even go, oh, sharp scratch, come in, or you know, do you, are you okay with needles? Like nothing. It was just, I hate it when they're like that because for all they know, I could be petrified of needles. I could pass out. Like, they didn't even ask me. They were just like, like, they don't tell you when they're like, they just stab it in. They don't go, oh, sharp scratch or anything like that. And I just feel like that's just not a way to treat a patient. Like, I know it's a very short period, your patients. You know what I mean? Like, they're like, what, five minutes or something? Depending on, you know, if you have like a someone who's really, really scared. But 
my point is I would never ever ever speak to a patient like that or treat them that way even if I was having the shittest day ever I would never take it out on my patients and never be that rude and I've had the guy that's done my blood today before and he's normally super nice so he's obviously just having a shitty day yeah I don't know I just thought it was super rude my experience as a phlebotomist which is obviously not yeah I haven't worked as a phlebotomist for a, a good while but my experience I would have never ever been like that anyway rant over I'm about to go leave for my eyelash appointment I'm not gonna take my camera with me but I thought I would just do a little before so you guys can see so my eyelashes are rubbish at the moment. They're like non-existent. For some reason they're falling out. It's not because I wear mascara because I don't really wear that much. Like I don't really wear mascara often. And if you guys noticed that recently when I've been wearing my makeup, I haven't been wearing mascara. I've just been wearing my, my face and my brows. Um, but yeah, anyway, I will see you guys afterwards and I'll give you a little before and after. Well, you've seen the before. I'll show you the after. So guys, I'm home. <laughs> My nose keeps running. I'm sorry if I keep sniffing up. So, here's the after shot of my lashes. Aren't they pretty? They're so, so nice. I love them. I just got the classic ones because I feel like the other ones are like way too dramatic. And I did also get my brows waxed. So they're looking on fleek. Yeah, so I'm pretty much all set for Wednesday. Yeah, I've just got to pack my hospital bag. Um, I've made the list of everything that needs to go in. I just need to put everything in it. At the moment, I'm feeling good, so I'm just not trying not to think about it too much. But, yeah, people keep going, oh, it's, it's happening, and people keep reminding me, and it's just... <sighs> Try not to think about it. I forgot to mention earlier, but I'm not earlier, yesterday on the way when I was picking up Rachel, which I didn't, I forgot to vlog. Did I vlog when everyone was here? Actually, yes, I think I did. Anyway, when I was picking up Rachel, we stopped by my house, or mum's house, and we picked up these bad boys. These are just from previous injuries and surgeries that I've had, but they are so much better than the underarm crutches. Personally, I find them a lot better and easier to use. They do hurt my hands a bit, but you can obviously wrap stuff around these bits and if you position the elbow bit let me show you what i mean if you position it so your elbow is in i find just above the little crevice like that's my elbow crevice there where the skin's all ruched it's kind of hard to see but if you if i position it just below it stops my elbow from popping out when i or subluxing when i'm using them i find yeah these are the ones i'm probably going to be using obviously i'll be using my wheelchair probably more when i need to be able to move into smaller spaces and the wheelchair won't fit then these are going to be what I'm gonna use. I'll probably, I'll try and end my vlog before I go to bed if I remember, but if not, I'll see you guys um, in the morning. Good morning, everybody. So I am really, really anxious. Like I feel like it's today. Like I just, I'm so anxious. <sighs> I've literally been messaging everybody I know that's had this surgery and like asking them questions that I've already asked them just because I'm so anxious about it and I already know the answers, but hopefully I'll be okay. I'm about to leave for my doctor's appointment um i have to get a couple more scripts if she's in my doctor i'm gonna get her to do the ndis thing for me or i might just leave it with her because i'll just be like fill it out in your own time i'll pick it up next time i'm here or whatever but yeah there was a script that i forgot to get when i was there last so i have to go today and then i've got my cardiology appointment uh later this afternoon and they're gonna give me the final all clear yes or no are we good to go kind of thing anyway right i'm about to leave and i'll take you guys with me hopefully everything will go fine today everything's gonna be fine so i just arrived at the hospital uh doctor's appointment went well got all the prescriptions i needed to get it's actually i was actually lucky that i because i almost booked an appointment yesterday which was monday and it's a good job i didn't because my doctor as this was her first day back today because she's she had uh the flu like i know people say oh i have the flu but she generally had the flu she had influenza type a i'm not expecting much to come out of this cardiology appointment just because we kind of already know the plan but they do have to see me every so often just because i have you know like heart issues like besides the pots that they've got to like make sure that everything's okay and i have to get echoes every is it 12 months or six months no it's not six months i would have had one by now it's 12 months um i think my last one i had was in august or might have been september it was around then my last echo so we're not due one for quite a few months yet um but yeah just basically checking in, seeing everything is okay. They're gonna give the final okay and make sure that I'm good to go under tomorrow. Yeah, so I'll update after, but like I said, I'm not expecting much new that we don't already know. But hey ho. Right, let's go. Hey. 
18 solo I still remember long ago when I saw you so cold I gave my jacket blue and gold then you said Hey guys, so I'm trying to hold my book and vlog. It's kind of hard. So appointment done. Like I said, not really much to update on. I didn't think there would be, to be honest. So everything sounds good. Everything's ready to go for tomorrow. You know, no sudden major heart issue to stop it. So it looks like everything's full steam ahead now. So I've got my script uh, for my heart meds because I'm not gonna see cardiology now until after my ablation, um, which will probably be at nine to 10 months is the, till I see them again. So he's giving me a script because I'm gonna run out of my meds before then. Um, but yeah, he said, we'll just wait to see what happens with the ablation and hopefully they can find the area that's triggering my SVT and VT and all that. Um, but they said if, he, if they can't, then they'll most likely have to come up with another solution. So he said most likely we'll just put you on um, some additional medications. Anyway, on my way home now, my battery's gonna die, so I'll see you guys when I get home. So I'm home now. Uh, I've put some lipstick on because I'm gonna film a video, or two videos. I'm basically gonna explain why I've been gone on my main channel and why I haven't really been uploading the last couple weeks and what's gonna happen during my surgery and stuff like that so I'm gonna do a bit of an update for my main channel and then I also want to film like a what's in my hospital bag or what I'm taking with me to the hospital basically you guys know last Friday I wa I wanted to get a pumpkin spice latte and they didn't do it I was so upset I don't know if I explained that but they <laughs> stopped doing them and that was the only place I knew that did them anyway after a quick Google search I ended up finding this online which is new naturals pumpkin spice syrup so this can probably this can pretty much go in anything coffee tea cakes like whatever you want it to go in and it's zero calories not that that matters but if any of you guys are watching your weight out there this is probably better than having an actual pumpkin spice latte which was probably full of sugar but anyway i tried it in my tea instead of putting sweetener in there and oh my god i think i've created like a new drink like instead of pumpkin spice latte pumpkin spice tea and i love tea way more than i love coffee and the only reason i drink pumpkin spice lattes is because no one does pumpkin spice tea until now so it's so good mm. um and i also whipped out this bad boy which has been sitting in my cupboard for ages um i bought this a while ago but I didn't really feel the need to use it because the table that I've got at the moment can it just it just rests on my knee like this. However, this one has a little like a stand. So while I'm recovering, I imagine my hips probably gonna be sore and I'm not gonna want anything on it. So this way I don't have to have if I want to edit or whatever, I don't have to have my laptop on me. I can put it on the table and it's like above me and it's got a little cup holder as well and a little you can put your ipad here or whatever so i've got that bad boy out ready so now i've just got to basically go through my list and put everything in my bag ready to go um but i'm glad that i went through and made the list as i thought of things otherwise i'd be like literally like oh my gosh panicking now that i'm not going to remember to pack everything that i need to remember to pack and my hufflepuff jumper arrived as well which i was super surprised about because I was just not expecting it to arrive that soon so I might wear that to go to the hospital tomorrow because it's going to be quite cold because it's going to be super early. Right so I just need to find my bag now, my big like duffel type bag. I'm just thinking, I don't know if this is going to be big enough to fit everything in. Oh and I've actually got some catheters from my last day so I don't have to worry about packing those. One less thing to worry about. Right, I'm going to crack on and go pack everything I need to pack. Hey guys, so I'm all showered. Um, I am looking a bit puffy eyed. I had a bit of a cry. I needed it though to get out of my system and just make sure that, you know, I'm doing the right thing and I'm doing it for me and not for anyone else. And I know that sounds stupid, but a lot of thoughts go through your head at a time like this. But anyway, we're setting up for my dressing change and we're changing the end and then we're doing my TPN. I'm just doing my night meds or my pain meds. Not, I've already done my sleeping meds earlier so I would should feel tired by now but I don't so I'm like oh should I have done them earlier anywho um time to put on 
the good old pain patch. So, make sure that I'm gonna take that off. I swear to God, if they take it off, they better give me another one then. They gave you one last time, didn't they? Yeah, they, that's what I mean. So even if they do end up taking it off, then they'll replace it. So I'm not worried about that, but I'd rather have it than not have it. I finally took off my uh, sensor so you can really see the little circle that's where it was. I'm going to have to put it on this arm on the other one. Alright, anyway, I just wanted to put that in there before I forget. So, I'm going to do my dressing change and everything and then I'm going to come back to end my vlog before I go to bed. And I will show you guys my... Can I show you guys my hospital bag or not? I'll quickly show you now in case I didn't show you before. But everything's pretty much in there apart from a few things which I'm going to put in in the morning. I'm not going to wear these um, tomorrow but I am going to pack them with me, my splints. And then I've got my... Uh, bedding that I'm taking with me, my duvet and pillow, and then my trusty good luck Hufflepuff jumper, which I'm gonna wear tomorrow morning. Hey guys, so TPN is up and running, dressing change is nice and fresh. We did end up putting the date on the dressing change, we did it last week as well, but we've definitely done it this week because the hospital are a bit funny about that if you don't put the dates on things. I'm just uploading my I'm having surgery video on my main channel. So that should be up by the morning and then all of you guys out there who watch my main channel or people who watch my main channel but don't watch this channel will know what is happening. I'm feeling a lot, lot better now after I've spoken to everyone and like I said, I had a bit of a cry with my dad earlier but I'm feeling a lot more, like I'm feeling better now and I'm not nervous at all. I think I just need to get it off my chest. I did, I've just done a little update on Instagram just to let everyone know what the situation is and like I said, oh no, I didn't say it earlier, but in the video that I'm, it's up, that's going up on my main channel now, I basically just said that I'm gonna keep you guys updated up until the point I go in, like into the theater tomorrow. And then Tom will do a quick update on my Instagram when I come out because it's a lot easier than messaging each an individual person like obviously my close close friends do have Tom's number and I'm sure he'll get a few texts but it's a lot easier to update everyone through my Instagram rather than have to text everyone basically head to my Instagram I'll leave it up on screen it's at chronically.ames um, and that's where all my medical updates will be coming from over the next few days slash weeks yeah anyway guys if you enjoyed this vlog please do give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below wish me luck for tomorrow i love you guys so 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 much and i honestly could not ask for a better support system don't know when my next vlog will be up i don't know if this is going to go up in time this one i'm hoping that i can get it up for tomorrow at least so then you know you guys are up to date with what's happening i love you guys and yeah i will see you i'll see you when i see you